Thanks for tuning into No Wine in No Time. I'm your host Dave and today we're going to explore a southern Italian grape called Negramaro. So Negramaro is native to the actual heel of the boot. That's a place called Puglia and most specifically the actual tip of the heel of the boot in a place called Salento. So if we translate the word Negramaro from Italian to English, it means black and bitter. Well, this particular grape is quite interesting because it thrives in the sunshine of southern Italy. It loves the heat and it actually is quite drought resistant, excels in long periods of no rain, and when it's mature, it actually produces kind of an oval, very thick skinned, dark kind of grape. Now the wines that are made from this particular grape oftentimes are rustic in character, quite gritty in tannins, and really when we look at the world's acclaim, um, don't really get very high on anybody's list. So we could have either straight single varietal Negramaro, or we could take and blend that with two other Puglian grapes, one called Primitivo and one called Malvasia Nero, and we would produce a wine called Salice Salentino. So quite often you see Salice Salentino in your wine store, but not as often see single varietal Negro Amaro. I wanted to start with Negro Amaro uh, because even in a Salice Salentino, it is going to be the dominant grape. So let's go ahead and take a look at one of these wines and see what one might expect. This particular wine comes to us from Tora de Ora, and this is a 100% Negro Amaro from Salento in southern Puglia. And if we look at this particular wine in the glass, the first thing that we'll notice is it's extremely dark in its color. We cannot see through this at all. Um, the wine, as we kind of move it around the glass, will notice significant legs, and that's because this type of wine produces a more highly alcoholic finished product. If we swirl to liberate some of the aromas, coming out of the glass we get just a little bit of almost tomato paste uh, and a little bit of biscuit. I know that sounds like a strange combination and bordering on some dark fruits as well like cherries and almost blueberries. A very odd combination from a very rare and not really worldwide circulated kind of grape. So what can we expect when it rolls across the palate? When a Negro Amaro hits the front side of the palate, the first thing you get is almost like a candied cherry. Then it kind of fades into a bit of a balsamic type of flavor. So we catch a little bit of sweetness, but also the tartness that we rec recognize from balsamic vinegar. Mid palate, we almost get a, a little bit of a lift, almost kind of a graham crackerish persona. Um, really quite unusual. And then on the finish, uh, a beautiful acidic and tannic grip on the back side of the palate. So Negro Amaro sounds unusual because it is unusual. It's not a normal grape that many of us are familiar with. But I can tell you one thing. There is not a more perfect wine in the world that pairs beautifully with pasta, with tomato sauce, or pizza, or anything more on the acidic side. It's just an absolutely beautiful pairing. So I would ask that you go out and seek out either a mono varietal Negro Amaro or a Salice Salentino, and I'll bet you'd be glad that you did. It's certainly a walk on the wild side, and I think you'll really warm up to this beautiful Southern Italian grape. So I'm gonna enjoy a little bit more Torre de Ora Negro Amaro Salento, and I ask that you come back next time, cause soon you'll know wine in no time. Mm -hmm.